Welcome to the Running Network Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. What was your strategy to uh, break the record this year? Uh, well, my, uh, I, I planned to run at 4 minutes uh, 10 seconds a kilometer, and I ran pretty close to that, I guess. And uh, maybe a few faster ones uh, around about uh, 25, 30k got me a bit faster than that in the end, I guess. Were you aware that you were pretty close to breaking the record? Oh yes, I, I figured I had it within my grasp, yes. Uh, you know, I was more confident, uh, you know, nearing the finish that I, that I had it uh, this year than I, than, I, than I felt last year. Two records in two years, what on earth are you going to do next? I don't know, I don't, I don't think I'll set the, the, I don't think I'll beat this next year, no. I, I, I said last year that, but I really think that's the truth this year. So we're just going to have to wait until you're 80, is that it? Something like that, 90, 100, <laughs> <and> whatever. <laughs> oh, I'll keep running, I'll keep trying, keep trying. So you're going to get some gardening done now? Yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah. The onions are still, uh, still there, still waiting to be dug up. Oh, lots of other stuff still waiting to be done, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Tell us how you I'm feeling relieved now. I'm kind of, uh, uh, what should I say? Very happy, very happy, yeah. Very happy. We're here with Mikkel Caprell, who just set a Guinness World Record in running a marathon with a baby in a stroller. Uh, tell us a little bit about how you decided to do that and how she did. Well, she was amazing. Uh, I decided to do it because um, I, after she was born, I found it difficult to uh, keep up with a marathon training, being uh, an exhausted uh, new daddy. And uh, this baby jogger was a savior for us. Uh, it allowed me to get out there and train. And uh, I found the more I trained with her, and this the better I got at pushing the thing. And I thought, uh, you know, there should be a, there should be a different category for this. I looked it up in Guinness uh, World Records, and there is, <laughs> and I got it. Well, now did she do a lot of your long runs with you? She did. Yeah, I'd say uh, I did about probably six or seven long runs up to three hours with her and uh, she was great I wanted to make sure that she was okay she she never complained she's been incredible what's her, what sort of a marathon or were you before you started taking up the stroller uh, reasonably competitive I won the Toronto Marathon um, that's in October I won that two years ago and I won I was the top Canadian in the Boston Marathon in 2002 uh, personal personal best at 230 um, so I was happy with my 249 here, um, considering I was pushing 50 pounds of baby and carriage. How was it running the race course, which has got to be quite a bit different in training? Yeah, it was, um, my pace was faster than my training, so the end was just brutal. Like, I felt like I was pushing a truck. <laughs> my my uh, legs were screaming. I mean, it was unbelievably painful. Well, now you're getting some arm muscles a little bit more so than most marathoners would, wouldn't you? Yeah, I got some good triceps going, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations and thank you for talking with us. Thank you very much. <laughs> and then two very remarkable gentlemen from very different parts of the world came together. And Mr. Ed Whitlock became the first septuagenarian on the planet to break three hours. He ran 2.59.10. And Mr. Fauja Singh, a British Sikh who had spent, in his own words, 80 years of his life as a farmer in India, instantly these gentlemen became worldwide celebrities. Uh, particularly Fauja Singh with uh, the new poster boy along with Muhammad Ali and David Beckham for the Adidas slogan, Impossible is Nothing. This was broadcast around the world. I think I even got a call from a Spanish speaking radio station in Miami wanting to interview these guys that broadcast to Central and South America. They ran two more age group world records. Please, will you welcome from Canada, Mr. Ed Whitlock. Two hours, 54 minutes, and 49 seconds. I did ahead of what I expected, and things worked out well, and uh, I certainly finished without leaning to one side the way it was last year, and uh, I didn't have the scars adorning my face either. 
Well, hopefully I look a little better than I did last year. <laughs> well, the media is certainly out this year in force, Ed. So don't go away. We'd now like to come out, uh, invite up uh, Mr. Fauja Singh, <laughs> who today ran a new age group world record if Param Jeet or near now someone can come up with Fauja Singh and bring him up. He ran a new 30 minutes and two seconds. Can Nir, Nir, his friend Nir, Nirmal from London, can we ask Fauja Singh, how was the run today? Fauja Singh is very delighted to be here in Toronto. The welcome he's received from everybody, the Asian community, the non-Asian community, he is inspired. He says he's uh, thrilled, he's a, a, a farmer from the India who's come to this town and he's treated like a superstar. He said he, he, he couldn't be a superstar without all your people's support and the charities that uh, have helped him succeed. He basically runs for charity, he lives for charity, he follows the Sikh tenets of sharing his good fortune with other people and he's extremely thankful to God giving him these abilities to run and to share his good fortune with all the masses and everybody around here. He's extremely thankful to everybody who came to support him and to cheer him on and he wishes everyone the best and he himself is proud to be here. and sing on the 26th of September 2004. Well done, gentlemen.